Hi, my name is Jos Overstrie, passionate trainer and consultant at Ovedegon. And in this video, I want to tell you more about rotation direction. And we do that with the following subjects. What is rotation direction? Why is it important? And I show you and tell you more about how to check rotation direction in several installations. In a former video, I already told you about the right rotation direction of an impeller. Why is it important? You know that there is a pump curve and a pump curve is made on special con in special conditions, but also that the pump is turning in the right direction. And with that turning in the right direction, you have a certain capacity and a certain total head. But if you're turning your pump in opposite direction, you will have less capacity and less total head than is shown to you in the pump curve. And did you know that more than 10% the whole of pump has the wrong rotation direction? So that will give less capacity and less total head, but nobody noticed that. How to check the rotation direction for a dry installed pump? I have a dry installed small one in front of me and I want to show you the fan cover. And on that fan cover, there is an arrow. And that arrow tells you the right turning direction, the right rotation direction of this pump. If you start the pump, you can see through the grids of this fan cover, you see the rotation direction of the fan. And you can check if the rotation direction of the fan is the same direction as shown with the arrow if you have to stop the pump and if the rotation direction was correct you have to do nothing if it was the opposite direction just switch two of the three wires and the pump will run in the right direction but also on a pump house you can see what the right rotation direction must be you see a volute casing in front of me and yeah, you all also can see that this pump housing is just a little bit dirty. But that, that is because this pump house is normally standing as a statue in my front garden. So, for that. You see, with this volute casing, that the shape on this side is different to the shape on this side. With that, you can also see what the right rotation direction of this pump housing must be. Because this side is much massive than this side, the right rotation direction is this direction. You can see that with a, a volute casing. But you also have pump houses like this, completely round pump house. With that, you need an arrow you see it here. That arrow indicates the right rotation direction of the impeller. In this picture, you see two dry installed pumps, two big ones. And these two big ones have that volute casing I already showed you. And in the marked area, there is also an arrow and that arrow will indicate that that is the right turning direction of this pump. For sure, you can also check the right direction through the grid of the fan cover. So, in this case, with the dry installed pump, you have two possibilities. The volute casing with the arrow and also the arrow on the fan cover and you can see through the grids. Checking the rotation direction for a dry installed pump is easy because it's installed above medium level. But the submersible pump is installed below medium level. So how to check the rotation direction for a submersible pump? You take the submersible pump and you put it on the ground like this, here on the table. First of all, you read the installation and operation manual. 
And with that, you know you have to keep distance. You start the pump and the pump will give you a start reaction. For example, like this. And the start reaction is opposite to the rotation direction. And there is always a small arrow on the pump housing. Or you can check the installation operation manual for the right one, the right rotation direction. So you can check the rotation direction of a submersible pump. In this picture, you see a submersible pump. In this case, a blue sewage pump. And this pump has a weight of more than 300 kilogram. So with that, you also realize that if you have a start reaction of this pump, this pump can hurt you a lot. So keep safe distance and read the installation and operation manual. A borehole pump is a pump installed 100, 300, 400, sometimes 50 meters below ground level. But also with that pump, you have to check the rotation direction. But how to check the rotation direction for such kind of pump? First, you install the pump, piping on it. You attach that pump to the control unit. Then you have the piping above the ground and you leave the piping open. You start the pump and the pump will give you a certain amount of water. That water will spray a certain amount of meters. You stop the pump, switch the rotation direction and you start the pump again. You will see that the medium level is coming much further from the pump or the distance is shorter. The longer the distance the pump will throw the water, the medium, away, that will be the right rotation direction. You can also check it with a pressure gouge. Start the pump, see on the pressure gouge what the number is. Stop the pump, change the rotation direction, start the pump again, and also see on that pressure gouge what the number of pressure is. The higher the pressure, that is the right rotation direction. I just told you about rotation direction, why it is important and how to check it. And I hope you learned something from it. If you have a question or if you want to learn more about a certain subject, you can put it on the comments or send an email to support at ovedukon.com. But if you want to learn more, you can also check our website because on that you can see articles, but also that we have e-learning courses. I hope to see you in the next video because every week we put new video on this channel. I hope to see you again. Bye.